Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Jude Lennon here as part of the EYFS at Home Author Takeover Day. So, as I mentioned before, I'm going to be reading my new book to you, That's Our Home, and it features our special friends Seagull, Crab and Starfish. And this book is all about looking after our environment and taking care of it. And that's something that's really important for everybody. There's also some bits for you to join in with, which are exciting. So the bits that you need to join in with go like this. Don't do that. That's our home. You're just not being green. Use a bin or take it home. Keep the beaches clean. And we say that all the way through the book. So you'll be able to join in with that bit. Here we go. Here's the front cover. And you can see we've got seagull, starfish and crab. And there's my name because I'm the author. That means I wrote the story. And this is Lisa Williams' name. She's the illustrator. She did all the beautiful drawings. They're very, very good. Here we go. Starfish, crab and seagull live on a gorgeous beach. With golden sand and waves of blue, its name is Puffin's Reach. It used to be so lovely. Now there's rubbish on the sand. There's plastic in the water that's been dropped by human hand. Oh dear, they don't look very happy, do they? Seagull has a great idea. A message they can share. With everybody on the beach, they'll say it with great flair. You ready to join in with it? Here we go. Don't do that. That's our home. You're just not being green. Use a bin or take it home. Keep the beaches clean. Thank you, Seagull. If you sit back there for me, brilliant. The next day, Crab goes for a walk past children having fun. They drop their sandwich wrappers, then turn and start to run. Crab is feeling very cross. Her claws are on her hips. The loudest voice you've ever heard comes from her tiny lips. Are you ready to join in with it again? Don't do that. That's our home. You're just not being green. Use a bin or take it home. Keep the beaches clean. That's right. The children pick the cling film up. We're sorry, they both say. They put the litter in the bin and then run off to play. And it says here in this box, what else could you wrap your sandwiches in apart from cling film? Now I've got some lovely sandwich wraps that I put my sandwiches in and I can use them again and again and again. Here we go. Starfish loves her rock pool. Can you see her floating? The water's clean and clear, but suddenly an awful shock, a splash so loud and near. A nasty plastic bottle, the seventh one this week. She pulls herself up to the edge and crossly starts to speak. Are you ready to join in with the words again? Don't do that. That's our home. You're just not being green. Use a bin or take it home. Keep the beaches clean. The young man stretches out an arm. He scoops the bottle out. Then packs it up inside his bag. He's sorry, there's no doubt. And again it says here, what else could you use instead of a plastic bottle to hold your drink? I've got one of those reusable ones. You can just keep filling up and it keeps it nice and cool. But if you've got a hot drink in there, it keeps it nice and hot. Perfect. As seagull flies, she looks and spies. A couple with a drink. Oh no, they've dropped their cans and straws. She has to make them think. The straws could get into the sea. That really isn't fair. She'll have to go and speak to them and try and make them care. Are you ready? Don't do that. That's our home. You're just not being green. Use a bin or take it home. Keep the beaches clean. The couple picked their rubbish up. We're sorry, they both said. They put it in the nearest bin next to the lifeguard shed. It says here, what could you use instead of a plastic straw? And I know there's lots of things. I don't like drinking through straws personally, but I know lots of people do. You could use those special metal ones or there's, carb there's paper ones as well. Crab was sitting on a rock by a group of friends. They dug a hole and filled it up with rubbish, odds and ends. 
Crab could not believe it. This made her feel so cross. Why can't they take their litter home? She was really at a loss. And unfortunately, children, this is happening in a lot at the moment. Lots of people are going to the beach and they're just leaving their rubbish there. It's so, so sad. What does Crab say? What do we all say? Don't do that. That's our home. You're just not being green. Use a bin or take it home. Keep the beaches clean. The friends all heard what Crab had said. They knew that she was right. Burying their rubbish was definitely not all right. If you can take it there, you can take it home, can't you? Starfish lay inside her pool. Seaweed floated past. But when she looked more closely, plastic bags she was aghast. People were so careless, they let them blow away. Starfish pulled herself right up. She had some things to say. Are we ready? Don't do that. That's our home. You're just not being green. Use a bin or take it home. Keep the beaches clean. The family grabbed the soggy bags. We'll reuse them all, said Dad. She hoped they'd learnt their lesson, that littering was bad. It says here, what could you use instead of plastic bags? We've got some reusable ones that we use all the time. Seagull, crab and starfish looked out across their beach. Although it looked much better, there were still so many to teach. We'll have to try much harder. We need to spread the word. The planet needs our love and care. We really should be heard. Don't do that. That's our home. You're just not being green. Use a bin or take it home. Keep the beaches clean. And if you want to help us keep the planet nice and clean, spread this message far and wide so that everyone is green. The end. And then at the back it says 10 great ways to help keep your beach a greener, cleaner place. And if you get the book, you can read through those. It gives you some really good ideas, some top tips about how you can keep the beaches and other outdoor spaces like the parks, the woods, the fields, nice and clean and green for everyone. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed hearing that story. I certainly enjoyed reading it to you. And if you join us a little bit later, we're going to do some activities around the story. So get your ideas on, keep thinking about the book and the special message, and we'll come back and see you later. Thanks.